Hi everyone, this is Sal. Today we are going to talk about the bubble saw algorithm and I will try to explain how it is working visually. Okay, let's start. Let's open the browser, type algo debug.com. Okay, yeah, so this is the uh, home page of algo debug.com. Here you guys can see several uh, algorithms. Today we are going to talk about this bubble saw one. Yeah, either you can click it here or fighting. Yeah, so yeah, so this is a uh, array, but uh, this is something like uh, just a uh, five elements. Yeah, it's a uh, good to show it very quickly. Okay, so consider this uh, array is not sorted. Okay, yeah, it's not sorted. Okay, so we are going to sort this uh, array with a bubble sorter algorithm. Yeah, before that, I will uh, give some things like uh, uh, how how to interpret this visually. Okay, yeah. So here, this is the letter element numbers in the top right, uh, top of that uh, uh, elements right. So this is the uh, index of the array or portion of the array, whatever we can say. So basically, this is the zeroth element. This is the uh, fourth element, not a fourth element both the pushing element okay so basically if you see a uh, length of the array is 5 okay so uh, we are going to sort this array okay and uh, there is a, another feature is called uh, show code right now by default the show code will be disabled so if I click I can see the uh, actual uh, coding of the bubble sort okay actual algorithm of the bubble sort will be displayed so I'm going to start without the uh, the program okay let's start here okay so here uh, this is the initial array uh, let's click next okay yeah so if you see uh, here uh, the array of j which is nothing but this is array of j the element of uh, uh, array of j is 45 array of j plus 1 is 64 okay and that's why we pointing this j at j, j plus 1 position and there is a uh, one more variable called i so basically i is for uh, denoting the outer loop and j is for the inner loop so in bubble sort we have a uh, two loops okay we need to uh, iterate the inner loop once the inner loop completes we need to iterate the outer loop okay i will show it in the uh, code so let's uh, go into the uh, algorithm okay so here 64 is greater than 45 so it's already sorted this 45 comparing to this element this is smaller so we can keep it that way that's why it's the same so no need, need to swap so need not to swap okay then so if need not to swap then we can increment this i j uh, j will come here and j plus one will be here okay so uh, if i move so comparatively 64 and 54 54 will be lesser than 64 right then 54 will be moved here and 64 will be moved here in if i click next it will happen okay now you will see the animation 54 is moved here and uh, 64 in this thing is moved here okay so similar way uh, here also we mentioned the same thing if array of j is greater than array of j plus one here it was 64 right? it is greater than array of j plus one that's why we swap these two elements so next iteration this 36 supposed to be compared with the 64 okay we will increment right then j, uh, j will be coming here j plus 1 will be coming here then we need to compare these two elements okay then 36 is supposed to be more here and 64 seems to be more here okay let's see is it moving yeah 36 will be here and 64 is more here okay now i am going to click next so now uh, after i click next the 16 is supposed to move here and 64 should be more here yeah let me click that see yeah 16 is more and 64 is more okay so right now we came to the end of the inner loop okay that the uh, jth loop is then uh, iterating up to the all the elements okay if you see uh, the first iteration that the biggest number will come here okay it, it came into the position okay so that is j now uh, once all the elements in a loop is complete then we need to increment the i then it will reset that the j to zero now we have to compare these two yeah same we need not to swap 
let's move next. Yeah, it's supposed to be swapped. It's swapped. Then we go next. 16 needs to be swapped here. We are swapping it. Now see, these two elements are already sorted. We don't uh, need to do anything. Let's, yeah, this 36 needs to be more swapped because 36 is also then uh, 45. That, then we need to swap. Okay, next iteration 16 needs to be come here. Yeah, let's see, 16 will come here. Yeah, it's coming. And uh, yeah, so after that, this this has already uh, start comparing these two elements. This is already uh, good. We don't need to do anything. So after this iteration, these three are already started. Okay, now only these two needs to be swapped. Yeah, this is fair. So basically, we are done. Okay, so even we done uh, that uh, the loop is still uh, uh, it needs to be the outer element needs to be uh, check all the iterations right. So that's why it's iterating everything. So basically, if you see the iteration count is twenty five because of that uh, uh, length of the array is five. Okay, basically bubble sort uh, time complexity is n square. So which is nothing but n is 5, uh, 5 square is 25. That's why it is running 25 times. Okay, basically this bubble sort algorithm is not a uh, uh, good uh, algorithm for sorting and all. We have a better algorithm for sorting. So yeah, basically this is a, a, a algorithm people used to uh, uh, write very easily. This is easily uh, rememberable algorithm okay because we need to all we need to compare the adjacent elements based on that if you want to swap we can swap okay uh yeah so if i click next this is a sorted array so we are done with the uh, whole array uh, traversing at all so if you see uh, i is equal uh, i is also zero z is also zero so pi i is equal to pi and j equal to pi which means we uh, traverse whole uh, array Okay, and yeah, if you want to see the same thing in a single sort, I can click uh, to print. Yeah, this is this is the page for to print. No? So uh, if you see, you can see that uh, algorithm initially how it was and uh, what we are doing in the first iteration, second iteration, up to the whole uh, iteration. Okay, and finally we are getting a sorted array. So uh, people, some people wants to uh, remember this algorithm handy and they can um, make the printout or like they can make it as a PDF and then they want to uh, read the algorithm whenever they want to. Yeah, if they keep this printout handy and they can read it whenever they want to uh, prepare or before the interview or whatever it is, okay. or anything so whenever it is required this can keep it handy keep the printer and uh, it can be useful okay yeah only problem with this uh uh bubble cell garden is iteration is huge so right now we take the example of uh, uh five the area of array length is five so uh it it, it also like a 24 iteration sorry 25 iteration we have okay consider Go to first and I will show the show code thing. Okay, so basically, if I click on show code, you can parallelly see uh, what is the actual code look like. And uh, we are in the start of the algorithm, that's why it's an initial uh, array. And I click on next, and uh, basically, uh, this if condition is not satisfied, that's why we come here, which is basically like uh, else case. So, uh, why it is else case? Uh, this array of j, this is 45, is greater than 64, but it's not satisfying. That's why it's else case. It's, it is opposite. 45 is lesser than 64. That's why we are here. We don't need to do any action. So, that's why we are here. If, if it is uh, uh, next one, right? Next one is 54 is le greater than, sorry, lesser uh, 50, here it is 64, right? I will be here. So if I increment, so j will be greater than j plus 1, then we need to swap. Array of j was earlier like 64, and array of j plus 1 was 54 earlier. So we need to swap. That's why we swap. Even if I see the animation, right? Let me show if you want to watch it.
yeah it is dropping okay and yeah this this is the satisfied and this is the uh, steps for simple swapping so we need to have a, a temporary element to keep that uh, value and we need to uh, assign that uh, uh, j plus one in the j and uh, again we need to put the temp variable in the j plus one so this way we people uh, used to swap okay this is the simplest way of swapping so this way we can swap and uh, finally we'll get a sorted array okay even if you guys want to see those steps parallelly uh, what was here so this is a 25th iteration what was happened and the 24th iteration what was happened so right away so we can see that uh, reverse back reverse iteration kind of thing 23rd 22nd so we can see what was the position and all okay uh, let me refresh this page let's see uh, yeah six this array length is six basically the iteration count supposed to be 36 okay so if you want to see we can see it here the addition code is 36. Okay, if I refresh this, this is again 5. Let me refresh 10. Okay, 10. If it is 10, then n to the power, uh, n to n square is, is uh, 10 to the power of 2, which is nothing but 100. Let's see. Addition code is 100. Okay, yeah, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching hope uh, it will help for your career or education so yeah a lot of videos are uh, coming please subscribe thank you bye bye